What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Duran and we're here to talk Celtics basketball as the Boston Celtics fall 102 to 108 to the Detroit Pistons. And um, my only reaction to this game is uh, get Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown some help. Uh, this was just one of those deflating games that you felt like we should have won. And we were always behind in this game, it seemed like. And I, I, let me, let's just go through the game in its whole totality. The third quarter won. Horrendous. The defense has been horrendous this entire year. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. We have to switch up this defense, and I don't have the answer, honestly. All I can say is they have to do something different. We cannot continue to do man-to-man -man and try and switch with everyone while they pick and choose who they have on the court and grill us. Like, the opponent is picking and choosing who is the weakest link and completely grilling us we have to mix in some zone we got to do something different because what we're doing right now just isn't working it isn't it, what, what, what we're doing right now isn't working the switching man to man it isn't working Simi oj is getting grilled grant williams getting grilled and you know these guys we have they're getting grilled they're getting toasted they're getting destroyed annihilated i mean sadiq bay who we passed on killed us 30 points 12 assists and he hit seven three-pointers <laughs> It's like a sick joke. We passed on this guy for Aaron Neesmith, who can't play. He's not playing right now. For Sadiq Bey, who is killing us right now. Sadiq Bey is absolutely grilling us right now. It, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy to, to watch this game it, 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 just to see that happen. That, that's just one thing I kept thinking of is, man, we passed on this guy, and he killed us. Let's go ahead and continue. Tice played a pretty good game. I give Tice his credit. Tice played a pretty good game. Not his most efficient game, but I thought he played pretty good. Pritchard, I am so disappointed. Um, I felt like he was just had cold feet coming into this game. He just, uh, it, it was his first start of his career, and he was just a, a non-factor. 29 minutes and two points, three, assist, three rebounds and assists. It, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not the Peyton Pritchard that we're used to. I guess just coming into that starting lineup was just just a lot to take in at the moment. So I'll give him some somewhat of a pass, but it was just very disappointing for a rookie who's played, you know, like like one of the three best rookies in this entire this entire year. Like he's played great. So let's go ahead and continue. Simi Ojale started. I think Simi left this game early. He had, he had an injury. Um, not too much. I'm gonna put on Simi, but Simi Ojale has been looking pretty good. I mean that that game against the um. The last game we had against the Toronto Raptors, where he was just scorching them, scorching them on fire, 24 points and six rebounds in that game. He was excellent. He was excellent in that game. But this game, um, you know, not much because he got hurt early on. I really thought, I really think that Simi Ojale has earned himself a, a, a earned himself to be in that conversation of being in the starting lineup. Let me say that he's earned the right to speak up and be in that starting lineup. That is that is someone we can consider right now because we have to change something up right now. While we're injured, while, you know, Kimba Walker isn't playing back-to-backs, you know, we've got to find out our rotation for when those guys are out right now. We do. We've got to find out our rotation and figure out what we're going to do because, man, it's just it's just looking bad. It's loom and gloom right now. It is. It's loom and gloom. We shouldn't have lost to the Pistons. It, it, I mean, I'm just put it out there. We shouldn't have lost to the Pistons. I know we're down two starters, but when your two stars give you 33 points and 27 points and you can't close the deal on this, I, I don't know, man. That, that that right there is just telling me that the others are just not giving enough. And, and, and I want to ask this question to everyone. Did Danny Ainge botch the offseason? Because these players just had to be above average around Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and they're not the guys that we have are just not good enough they really aren't and grant williams got killed grant williams defense has been horrendous this year awful a hellaciously terrible i have nothing to say about grant and how disappointed i am in him this year just awful he looked horrible as sadiq bay punished him absolutely punished him he looked hellaciously terrible that's all i have to say about grant but help wanted. There's a help wanted sign at TD at TD Garden. We need help. We need help. We need more. We need better players. We need guys that that, that, that can play because this, right now it's just not working. It really isn't not working. And we have to sit through a month of this probably until Danny Ainge decides to make a trade. And I will tell you guys, Danny Ainge better make a trade. He better make a move. He made a. He better make a decision because if he stands pat again, this will be like the hundredth season in a, in, a, in a row where he stood pat in season and didn't make a move if he stands pat the video i will make will be epic it will be legendary i will rip danny age a new one because the team we have right now just isn't good enough it isn't i don't care when 
Kimba and Marcus get back, we'll be better. But the team right now, the bench is just bad. It's not good. We can't go deep enough with these guys. Because honestly, when the playoffs start, we're probably just going to go eight deep. We're probably going to ask just three of those guys off the bench. And they have to be good enough to produce. We have got to find... We've got to find a player. We've got to find two players, in my opinion. We've got to find guys that can play. Jeff T can leave. I hate Jeff T. He stinks. He played better than uh, Peyton Pritchard in this game, but he's horrible. He's hellaciously horrible. He's been terrible this season. It's been an awful signing. It has not been a good experience. Jeff T fooled us. He fooled us in the first couple of games. He fooled us in the preseason. He looks horrible now. I have nothing left to say about Jeff T other than he is awful. Awful, awful, awful. We've got to figure something out. We need to figure out a backup point guard, and we need to add another wing. Honestly, honestly, I, I, we need to add another wing. This team wants to play with three wings. This team is good when the when the, when the third wing is playing great. You know, whenever Grant Williams or Simi Ojale has a good game, we look completely like, a, we look like a machine. We need a third wing. A consistent third wing, not semi Ojale, a consistent third wing. We need another we need another player to fill that role. This team wants to play with three wings. Let's do that. Let's go get a Harrison Barnes. Let's go get another wing player that can play with our two guys and let's go ahead and, and strap up and compete. Because right now we're just not competing hard enough. The defense looks soft and the offense doesn't have an identity. Brad, figure it out. Danny Ainge, I'm not even going to put this on Brad. Danny Ainge, figure it out. Because this team that you put together looks horrible. 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 I'll say it again. Horrible. They have got to figure this out. Hellaciously, your stars can't go out like that. They let Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown down. The team let them down. That was a sad loss. When your stars, usually when our stars combine for 50-something points, 60 points, we should win that game. We should win that game. It, it, no, we should win that game. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The team let them down. Danny Ainge has let us down. Apparently, Jesus, they need to make a move. This team is not good enough. And that, that's just the end of my rant. That's all I have to say about these two games. I had to take a day off just to think about what I'm going to say on this because it's just not good enough. We have got to figure it out. And be consistent. We are probably one of the most inconsistent teams in the NBA right now. That right there is on Brad Stevens. We are the most inconsistent team in the NBA, defensively and offensively, on both ends. Something has to change. As always, guys, have nothing left for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. Peace.